Here we are again in another time out. Remember, this is a moment where we pause to create a play to help us win. So here's our coaching tip. As we're talking about distractions, I want to highlight the fact that sometimes your position or your title can actually be a distraction. Now, let me be clear. I am not at all submitting that your title or your position is not valuable. I'm not saying you should never use it. I'm not saying that you haven't earned it. Look, you worked hard. You've been called to it. You've been assigned it. Uh, you've done a lot to get your title, earn your titles. The problem can often be that we allow our titles to actually become the distraction. We place more weight and more merit on the title and the position than we do the actual work. So here's what we wanna to consider today. Consider prioritizing your function over your position. Again, prioritize your function over your position. Here's why. The, the opponent that we face when you make your position number one is that often you get so tied up in your title or you get stuck literally in the position that you don't do the work. You just rely on what people are calling you and the name that's on your card. So in order to combat that, in order to have victory and win despite your position or in addition to your title, there are just a few things I want to submit. One, make sure that you do something. A matter of fact, do something so that you are not distracted. You do know it's possible to hold both a title and a position and do absolutely nothing. Assuming that because you have the title or position, now you have arrived. Listen, if you are still in the land of the living, there's still something else for you to do, something else for you to accomplish. And so we don't want to get distracted because we have the power or the position or the title now and don't do anything that helps us move into our next and our later. So make sure you learn to do something. Secondly, you have to execute and particularly execute more than you have excuses. Listen, people in position and titles can easily have excuses and blame shift so that nothing gets done. But in order to prioritize your function over your position, at some point you must execute. And then finally, be consistent. A matter of fact, you should probably be consistent more than you complain. You know, doing something once or twice really doesn't matter that much. It is your consistency that really helps you win, helps you become victorious, helps you get beyond your now what. And if you can do something, execute and be consistent, have some consistency, then you'll be able to prioritize function over position. You know, a lot of times we talk about this rat race that we're always in. What I want to submit to you today is not a rat race, but a mousetrap. You know how mousetraps work? Mousetraps don't kill mice. Mousetraps just keep them still. And if they're still long enough, they won't eat. If they don't eat, they eventually die. And sometimes our position and titles, they're like mousetraps. We get to a place and we are stuck. We don't want you to get stuck. We want you to answer the question, now what do I do by prioritizing your function over your position?